into the wild. Vocabulary. The outdoors. Work in groups. Discuss the questions. 1. Do you like wild places? 2. Have you ever slept outdoors or been out in the wild? 3. Which wild places would you like to visit? 2. A. Work in pairs and read sentences 1 to 8. What do you think the words in bold mean? 1. I'd like to live in a rural area when I'm older, it's nicer than the city. A place in the countryside. 2. The north of my country is an area of natural beauty, tourists often visit it. A place in the countryside which is very pretty. 3. Where I live there is a lot of beautiful scenery, it's good for walking. Natural features that you can see that are very pretty. For I went camping in a national park, it was very quiet and peaceful. Land which is protected by the government because it is very pretty and people can visit it. 5. We visited the wildlife center, there were lots of unusual birds. A building place used for the study and protection of animals and plants that people can visit. 6. I'd like to visit a tropical rainforest and see the trees and insects. A hot, wet area of very tall trees. 7. My country has interesting geographical features like volcanoes and forests. Natural parts of the land such as mountains or lakes. 8. I like being out in the fresh air, it's nice to be out of the city. Clean air found in areas which are not polluted. B. Discuss. Which sentences are true for you? C. 9.4 word stress listen and underline the stressed parts of the words in bold. Unit 9. Recording 4. 1. I'd like to live in a rural area when I'm older. 2. The north of my country is an area of natural beauty. 3. Where I live there is a lot of beautiful scenery. 4. I went camping in a national park. 5. We visited the wildlife centre. 6. I'd like to visit a tropical rainforest. 7. My country has interesting geographical features. 8. I like being out in the fresh air. Do you listen and repeat the sentences. 2. I work in pairs and read sentences 1 to 8. What do you think the words in bold mean? 1. I'd like to live in a rural area when I'm older, it's nicer than the city. 2. The north of my country is an area of natural beauty, tourists often visit it. 3. Where I live there is a lot of beautiful scenery, it's good for walking. For I went camping in a national park, it was very quiet and peaceful. 5. We visited the wildlife center, there were lots of unusual birds. 6. I'd like to visit a tropical rainforest and see the trees and insects. 7. My country has interesting geographical features like volcanoes and forests. 8. I like being out in the fresh air, it's nice to be out of the city. Reading. 3. A look at the picture and the title of the story. What do you think happened? B. Read the text to find out. When Marissa was visiting a tribe in the Amazon, she was tested by the medicine man. She was taken to a clearing in the forest and asked to close her eyes. Then a large anaconda snake was placed on her shoulders. She was terrified, but she tried to breathe to stop her fear. The anaconda relaxed and she passed the test. Anaconda Anthropology student Marissa Evangela talks about how she came face to face with an anaconda in the jungle in Peru. I 
was traveling in the Amazon in Peru and my plan was to spend some time with one of the tribes there. They live in simple huts deep in the jungle, and I traveled with a guide on a small boat for hours to get there. As we traveled, the sounds of the jungle grew louder and louder. I could hear monkeys howling and laughing, and the songs of tropical birds. It was hot and humid, and I was covered in mosquitoes. The days I spent with the tribe were some of the most wonderful days of my life. We spoke very little, but I helped the women prepare meals, played with the children, and learnt about the plants they use for medicine. On my last day, one of the men called to me to follow. He spoke a little Spanish and told me the medicine man wanted to thank me for my stay and welcome me into their tribe. They planned a ceremony for me but I would need to choose between life and death. Was I happy to do that? I agreed and followed my new friend into a clearing in the trees. He asked me to shut my eyes. I could hear feet approaching me. Are you ready? he asked. I knew that my answer would probably change my life. Yes, I whispered, with my eyes still closed. Soon I felt a heavy weight on my shoulders. I slowly opened my eyes to find a huge anaconda snake staring me in the face. I froze with fear, and the snake moved her head closer to my neck. I knew that with one move she could kill me, and to make things worse my friend smiled and told me the snake was very hungry. Breathe, he said, make her your friend. I didn't have a lot of choice, so I took a deep breath and tried not to scream. I could feel my feet sink into the ground. I breathed again, and slowly a strange thing started to happen. The snake lowered her head and rested it on my arm. I had passed the test. When Marissa was visiting a tribe in the Amazon, she was tested by the medicine man. She was taken to a clearing in the forest and asked to close her eyes. Then a large anaconda snake was placed on her shoulders. She was terrified, but she tried to breathe to stop her fear. The anaconda relaxed and she passed the test. For answer the questions. 1. Where was the writer traveling? In the Amazon, in Peru. 2. What did she plan to do? She planned to stay with a tribe for a short while. 3. What did she particularly enjoy about the trip? She enjoyed helping the women prepare food, playing with the children and learning about the plants they use for medicine. For why did the tribe want to hold a ceremony? To say thank you to Marissa for coming and to welcome her into the tribe. 5. How did she feel when she first saw the snake? She was terrified. 6. What happened at the end of the story? The man told her to breathe, so she did, and the snake relaxed and rested its head on her arm. She passed the test. 5. They work in pairs. Look at words phrases 1 to 6. What do you think they mean? Use a dictionary to check your ideas. 1. Howling. Making a long, loud crying sound. Too hot and humid. Warm and wet. Three a clearing. A space with no trees. For staring. Looking at something for a long time without moving your eyes. Five froze with fear. Stopped moving and stayed very still because you were afraid. Six sink into the ground. Go down into the ground. B use the picture and words above to retell the story grammar. Articles. 6. Read the rules and put examples 1 to 6 in the correct place. 1. With a guide. 2. A huge anaconda snake. 3. The snake was very hungry. 4. In the Amazon in Peru. 5. Tropical birds. 6. In Peru. Rules. 1. Use a and before singular nouns. I traveled on a boat. Use a the first time we mention the thing person. A. A huge anaconda snake. Use a before job titles, in general. B. With a guide. 2. Use the before nouns when there's only one, the moon. 
Use the before the names of some places. C. In the Amazon in Peru. Use the if we have already mentioned the thing person. The listener knows which one. D. The snake was very hungry. Use the in some phrases with prepositions, on the first day, in the wild, on the left. 3. Use no article before most cities, countries, and continents. I was on a trip in Argentina. E. In Peru. Use no article before plural nouns, covered in mosquitoes. Use no article to talk about general types or groups of things. F. Tropical birds. Use no article in some phrases with prepositions, for lunch, for months, on one occasion, at night, in class. Page 144 Language Bank. 9.2 Articles. An indefinite article. The first time something is mentioned. Example. I saw a lion yesterday. Before singular nouns. Example. There's a library in the town. Example. I'm an actor. Before job titles, in general. No article, zero article. To talk about things or people in general. Example. Dogs are friendly animals. Before plural nouns. Example. I'm taking four classes this term. Before most cities, countries, and continents. Example. I live in Germany. In some phrases with prepositions. Example. On Tuesday, at sea, in hospital, at work. The definite article. To talk about something that has already been mentioned or information that the speaker and the listener already know. To talk about something when there is only one. Before some plural place names before seas oceans rivers. Before the names of some areas. In some phrases with prepositions with superlatives. Example. I saw a lion. The lion was sleeping. I looked at the moon. The United States the Atlantic. The northwest of England. In the evening, at the beginning. She is the tallest. 9.2. A underline the correct alternative. 1. Many people are frightened of spiders. 2. I had a pet cat which I loved, but the cat didn't like me. Three vegetarians are people who don't eat meat. For the blue whale is the heaviest animal in the world. Five we heard that there is a new gorilla in the zoo. Six a bats drink blood. Seven there is an elephant that lived to the age of 78. Eight the mammal that sleeps the longest is the barrow ground squirrel. 9. We saw an eagle when we were in Namibia. 10. She used to work at animals for you before the shop closed down. B. There is an article missing, A, an author, in each sentence in the text. Complete the text with the missing articles. I was feeling bored so I went for a walk. The trees were green and the sky was blue. It was a beautiful day. Suddenly I heard a strange noise, like an animal. But I knew it wasn't a cat because cats don't sound like that. The sound continued for a minute or more. I went home and switched on the TV to watch the local news. The newsreader said, some animals have escaped from the city zoo. 7A find and correct the mistakes below. Unit 9. Recording 5. 1. I always wanted to be a presenter of nature programmes. 2. I was one of many tourists in South America. 3. A guide met us at the airport. The next day the same guide took us hunting. 4. On the second day the guide took us to a river. 5. 
I sometimes make programs in Britain. 6. In my job, I can explain the natural world to millions of people. 7. I hate insects in general, but especially mosquitoes. 8. I had the camera in my bag. Unit 9. Recording 6. 1. I met wonderful people in the Amazon. Two. The birds we saw were amazing. Three. I've got a brilliant idea. Four. We need to put up a tent. Five. We took photos of the beautiful scenery. Eight complete the text with A, the or, no article. When I was ten, my father took me camping for the first time in Michigan, USA. He wanted to teach me about wild animals, insects, and trees. We enjoyed the first two days together bows and arrows walking and fishing. Then my uncles came with to go hunting. One evening we were sitting by the fire when a bird flew over us. Immediately my uncles jumped up and fired their arrows at the bird. All of them missed. But suddenly the arrows were flying down at us from the sky. There were arrows everywhere they looked like rain. We ran to escape them and fortunately no one was injured. That day I didn't learn anything about animals or insects or trees, but I learned a great lesson about gravity. 9.6 Listen and write the sentences you hear. 1. I met wonderful people in the Amazon. 2. The birds we saw were amazing. 3. I've got a brilliant idea. 4. We need to put up a tent. 5. We took photos of the beautiful scenery. Speaking. 9. They work in pairs. Read two comments about country life and city life. Which is closer to your opinion? I can't stand the countryside or wild places. There are too many flies and animals that either want to eat you or your food. Even worse, there are no cinemas, no supermarkets, and you can't get a good coffee. I get out of the city whenever I can. I love the peace and quiet of the countryside, and the people are much nicer there. I love the wild, animals, trees, mountains, forests, these are the best things in life. B. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of living in a rural area and a city in your country. C. Work in pairs. Explain where you prefer to live and why.